My name is Brandon Watson. I'm responsible for developer platforms, developer tools, and uh, breadth ecosystem outreach for uh, Windows Phone 7 worldwide. Uh, and so your question was, uh, why, should, why should developers build for Windows Phone 7? Uh, you know, there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, there's a unique opportunity on the phone to be first to market, of course, so it's a new platform. Uh, and developers looking for ways to uh, get recognized for their work or make money. And so when you have a less crowded marketplace, you have a more opportunity to get noticed, which is obviously a good thing for developers. Uh, we believe that the developer story is very strong because the tools are very good. Uh, Microsoft is a developer company. We, our first product was a uh, basic, right? So we understand how to build developer tools uh, and we make Windows Phone developer tools available for free uh, for all developers. So that's good. Uh, it's a very strong tooling story. And then the opportunity with the phone itself and, and the platform. Silverlight is the basis for applications and XNA is the basis for games. Uh, it's a very rich platform for building amazing and beautiful apps and games. Uh, and what most developers will notice is that they can make unique applications where their brand shines through but it's a very consistent user interface and that users will understand how to interact with their apps despite the fact that they look so different across all of the different brands. Uh, so we're very excited about it and we, we know that developers have been very excited. The tools have been downloaded over half a million times. So that's you know, very exciting and about, uh, I think about 40% from Europe. So that's a big number coming from Europe. Lots of European developers are very excited about that. Uh, Germany is one of the top countries, so that's also very exciting. Um, but uh, you know, they, they are all starting to understand that we are very focused and very serious about being in the mobile game, uh, coming back with a new product. We did a reset on the operating system, and so there's there's a lot of good times ahead for mobile developers. A lot of opportunities for them to choose which platform is right for them, uh, and to identify where their customers are and sell them great uh, sell them great apps. Yeah. So, what you tell people coming from Apple, for example, to change to WP7? Uh, it, what do we tell them? Well, hey, look, it's we just show them the tools, <laughs> right? We say, here's the tools. Just use it for 10 minutes and tell me how you feel. Most people have a very strong reaction, uh, very positive. There are going to be people who are fans of Apple, and that's fine, totally fine. Uh, there's enough developers in the world to, to make uh, many apps for every platform. Uh, we just hope that we get a fair chance and that developers who see, will be willing to sit down and use the tools and uh, play with the phone and understand what the opportunity is in terms of the user interface elements that we make available, all the services that we tie to, all the services that we run and third-party services, the Xbox Live integration makes for more uh, engaged customers, right? Uh, and so all of these things mean that developers have more opportunities to connect with their audience and, and we think that they'll be excited about that. And how do you convince uh, developers to come to Windows Phone 7 in terms of programs? And sure. Stuff? Well, so there's there's varying levels of programs that we have, um, from you know very engaged, uh, very highly managed relationships with developers, where these are developers that we know we gotta have Facebook, Netflix, Twitter, uh, where we spend a lot of time and energy ensuring that they build amazing apps. We give them access to technical resources, our design studio. Uh, we assign developer evangelists to the account to make sure uh, they have whatever they need, uh, plus the tools, plus if they need Windows or whatever software they need to get their services up and running. But the real thing is, is we can tell a story across from the phone all the way to the web. So for a lot of these developers, we say, look, if you want to build web apps, we can give you ASP.NET, we can give you ASP.NET MVC, we can deploy it into Azure, we can deploy it into Azure, Windows Azure, or the VM instance role now in Azure. So we can accomplish many things on our platform and making those available in varying levels of free <laughs> or subsidized uh, is how we can interact with developers, but also all of the technical content, all of the technical resources that we help get developers across the finish line uh, when they're building their applications and their services. Uh, we try to make it as friction free as possible for them to take whatever they can imagine and build that. Okay. Yeah. So one last question, so Please. how is um, Marketplace doing at the moment? It's fantastic. I mean, it's it, of all the mobile marketplaces, this was the biggest launch, uh, most number of apps in store at launch. Uh, you know, is it perfect? No, not yet. Will it ever be? I doubt it. Uh, we'll never be 100% happy, but we're very excited about uh, the number of developers that have shown up, uh, the number of apps, we're over 2,000 apps already, and that's that's a big number for so early in the phone's life cycle. We're very excited about that. But we have a lot of work to do, uh, and to make sure that whatever phone you pick up and you say, I need this app, if you can find that app, if the answer is yes, we've done our job. Um, so we got to keep working, 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 and also make sure that we're enabling new types of applications. But for right now, it's, uh, it's been a very good, uh, good couple of weeks with the marketplace ingestion opening and developers showing up and so many apps. Being
being certified. It's, uh, we're very excited. So hopefully Skype is showing up very soon. Huh? Well, Skype's going to require a, a, a technical change to the platform because they need sockets uh, enabled. Uh, and so there's a couple of things we're doing to work with Skype to, to make that happen. But, you know, we, we understand what they need and they understand the limitations so of the platform right now. Working closely together? Uh, you know, we're always talking to many companies. Mm. Yeah.